what is up youtube welcome back to yet another video it's so good to see you all again even though i can't physically see you but i know you're there so today's video is a bit of a i'm a bit worried about today's video because i believe this is the hardest job on doing part for putting parts on a car so basically today we're doing the sirocco uh, r side skirt to my sirocco gt car um, so it's going to be interesting because i hear negative things about the installments i hear the things don't sit properly they fall off um and once obviously you put it on a target seal that's it it's 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 like it's gonna ruin the car if it falls off that's that is it um so let's just show you guys what we're doing so you get an understanding so if you're new to the channel and you don't know much of our cars but you, you do love them um let me explain so as you can see the car's pretty standard this this is the standard Sirocco that comes out it comes with like it's got a little plastic piece over here um, And that runs through which then splits on the door and then there's a little piece here So what the Sirocco R side skirt does is this all gets replaced With one panel so one panel will follow flow with this Like cover from there down and will run along run along And then it'll come up here. I think it's up to here or here I don't know, might be, we'll, we'll soon find out, but one of the two, I think maybe up to here to even that. I believe it'll come to this, even because this gets replaced. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully this will look a lot better. Oh, by the way, I'm still loving these wheels, guys, and I need to change these caps. These caps, I need to get rid of them. I know I'm getting people on Instagram message me going, you need to change your caps. Yeah, I will, I will. I just don't know where to get, like, the VW ones from. Maybe I should go to VW and get them, but I don't know. Anyways guys, um, so the panels I've sent off to TP Smart Repairs, they've uh, spray painted the panels already for me to match the car. So let's go get this car washed, head down there and then get these panels installed and see if we succeed or fail or this is my last ever video on YouTube just because I'm so frustrated with this panel. But yeah, let's get it guys. So I've just got a TP Smart Repairs. Let's go in, see Tommy, get these side skirts put on, and hopefully it won't be a mission and it'll look sick. But there's something I need to show you guys. Now, I've always wanted one of these cars, but can I just show you Tommy's pride and joy? Look at this. How sick is this car? I don't know about you guys, but I really want to do a POV drive in this car. I think it would look absolutely sick. Tommy, uh, he's, he's offered, he's, he said to me I could take it out for a drive so we could do a POV on this which would look absolutely mental um, and I really think we should do it. I don't know what you guys should, you know, leave a comment down, down below and let me know if we should take this out for a spin. Like, this is just insane. Oh, it's just beautiful. Like, I've always loved an RS4, naturally aspirated. They're just good looking cars. They sit well too, if you look at it. It's just flush. Oh, it's just beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Whew. But yeah, leave comments below and let me know if you really want to see a POV drive in this bad girl. It's sick, absolutely sick. Anyway, let's get inside. It's just another doorway to open up and see. Lifeline will be waiting there for me I need to bury all these fears And let them fade away I'm not scared, I'm prepared To find myself again So they come when you when you buy them. They come just they're, they're unpainted, just general plastic. Um, I'll leave a link to where I got these from. 
um, in the description below so if you want to find them they there they're not too expensive to be honest um, but yeah the spray painting that you have to get them spray painted they don't come like this just so you guys know but it's a good match to the car and they look really good looks really really good I'm really really happy with that so these panels will go on so basically yeah I don't know how these clips work in that but I'll soon find out um, I need to get these off because look it'll give you this like double sided tape which is alright for these I think I think for that that's fine but they put them on here and guarantee you can't just leave that on um, so yeah discard that guys you're gonna need you're gonna need um, some sealant to hold that in some tiger seal or something I've got this so this is what I've got tiger seal I've got this one off uh, Amazon um, not too expensive it does say it requires 24 hours oh, I can't focus 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 sorry guys I'm gonna focus but yeah it takes 24 hours to set um, I've cleaned the surface as best I could I was stupid I should have went and got the car clean before I got here but it is what it is so I've got to pull these off pull that one off so what I might do is just do one side as a pilot and then I'll film the second side so you guys can see because then I know at least a bit I know what I'm doing really um, I'm not wasting your time so yeah let me do that and then I'll yeah we'll get these panels off I think they should be easy to come off got dirty the cars filth yeah these should come up quite easily to be honest so yeah so guys I managed to move the side panel off this piece here that was over there I managed to move that off that just clips under there and then clips on um, so that was quite fairly easy to to get removed but this needs to come off um, for it to sit flush but you can see it's like double-sided tape or something on there so that can get, I'll have to pull that off. Moving on to the side panel, we'll see on the door, the longer piece, uh, Joe pointed out um, that in the side here, I don't know if you can see it, oh, you can't really see it, but there's a screw in there, there it is. There's a screw in there that needs to come out to move the panel off. So I'm gonna do that quickly, and then we'll move on to the other side, and I'll put the GoPro up so you guys can see how it's all been moved and taken off and then we'll do the good part I'm sticking these bad boys on this will go in um, and then obviously these panels will all fit like in there like that and it'll complete the whole look of the car and that'll be the whole panel basically so let's get to it So I managed to get this one off guys, so that, one's, that one's out, um, but then there's another one on the front of the door this side, down at the bottom over there, let me get my torch, I can show you guys what I mean, one moment please, there's another one down there guys, on the side of the door, that needs to come out, it's a T20, um, yeah so let's take that one out. I've got a feeling it's going to be rusted. Okay, so fairly rusted to be honest. Like that doesn't look good. Anyway, put that down. <sighs> Hopefully the panel now should come away easier. Okay guys, so I managed to pull the panel off. You can see it's absolute filth. Um, so that's come off there now. All these little holes, you can see the door holes. All the way through with the front screw, just so you guys understand from, from there. So now we can clean that up and then put the panel on. And then yeah. Put the new one on but you can see this has been the hardest days oh what a, honestly get gloves guys don't use your fingers please use gloves don't be like me so i'm going to clean that up quickly yeah continue and then i'll film it guys and you guys can see oh pain in the ass I 
once let kill my vibe I fear the day that I lose the chance to fight So I stand up tall Ready to face it all again And I will not fall Right guys, so updates on this It is a pain to do but I'm gonna give it, it is not as bad as I thought it would, do, would be to do the side skirts on this. It's actually not that bad. It's a lot of hard work and it's a lot of uh, physical work, but it's not that bad. Check this out where we are. So obviously the side panels have been removed. You know those little side plastics? They've been removed. You can see how many clips there are. It's quite a few of them. The other side one, I've actually snapped this one in half, as you can see. Sorry, that's, I'm, I don't need this shit anyway. But we've got the car jacked up so we can get underneath because you need to put in these clips. So these clips need to go underneath the car. But this is the progress we're at. So we've got all the panels off. Bear in mind you have to remove all the panels. Everything needs to be off. This car needs to be flush with nothing sticking out of it. That, okay, that needs to be removed. So that needs to be pushed back. Tommy can deal with that, I'll show you. But all of that comes off. You then got to do, move the wheels to the side, get in here, T20, get these screws out, cause the R side skirt is gonna come to about here, in line with this, flush, and it's gonna come on the outside. So you move these screws out, and then, yeah, these, this one will stay independently up there. This one will go through the side skirt, and it'll stay on the outside. So don't put it on the inside, outside. But we'll show you anyway. Anyway, let's get to it, it's really getting late, so. I need to get these panels on, so let's start doing it properly, quickly, and get it done. And ensure it's all clean, please, guys. You need to make sure these are clean so that they stick. But yeah, let's do it. So what we're gonna do, guys, because on the side, it's got another clip over here. That's the other side skirt. So that is gonna sit in there, flush, and it's gonna complete the look of the car. But in that, you need a uh, a clip to slide into here. So what we'll do is we'll take one of these out of here, out of the old side thing that was sitting there like that, take that off, slide one of these off. That's what I need. Throw that shit away. Just slide it in into there. Like that. So that when this panel goes in, it just fits straight into that hole perfectly. And that's the only piece you need to put on there guys, nothing else. Because everything else lines up to the holes. Everything else is cool, except that there needs to be pushed back. I'm not too worried about that for now. And then the last thing you do need to do actually, before I forget, a screw through here into here. So you need a metal clip that's gonna slide into here where that screw will go into and hold into that. Because remember the screw we took off the door needs to go into something. These don't come with any metal screw uh, clip. So that needs to go on. So guys, another thing. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna get parts like this that are gonna come with uh, your side skirts when you order them. So just take this, you get little blocks with them too, so you get eight of them, four for each side. Push the block into this little, this in there. Straight through. And that, that's just like that. And that goes underneath the car. Um, and then there's these, these little covers uh, that are waterproof seal, seals that are underneath the car. So under here, you're gonna have four of them and you need to remove them underneath the car. So I'm gonna do that now. I once let kill my vibe I fear the day that I lose the chance to fight So I stand up tall Ready to face it all again And I will not fall I won't lose again You say this little panel Do that to all four guys, so 
that there goes the furthest away from the car. So it's gonna go in like this way. So if you look at it, like that, inside. Once it's in, push this block into, so this should actually go back more, really. So what happens is, these clips on the side, they're gonna go in, into the car, and then you're gonna push that block up, which then will push these two clips outwards, which then holds onto the metal rail that goes in between here. Anyway, you'll figure it out. <clears throat> Just explain to people what you're doing. So what are you doing now? Uh, so this is actually, we're gonna be sticking the bonding onto it. And um, because it's a pressed plastic or a molded plastic, it's uh, just to give it a bit of a key off, really. Make Would you recommend some people need to do this all the time with the plastic? Yeah, if you're gluing them together, glue it. because that's yeah. all shiny, nothing's going to stick to it. Okay. As soon as you key it up, it can help stick. So, so you can see Tommy's done all the points on this, so where we're going to be sticking uh, the target seal. So I thought initially we were just gonna shove target seal everywhere, but Tommy corrected me very quickly and he said that is not the case. Um, so yeah, don't listen to me. Who wants to listen to you, Michael? <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. So as you can see, Tommy's sandpapering that because it tells you you should do like a 180 grit sandpaper at each point because you make it rougher so that the, the glue sticks and bonds. There's no going back now, guys, once you've done this, by the way. It's game over. What's that you're putting on there, Tommy? Uh, it's just another panel wipe cleaner. Oh, okay. To get rid of any greases and stuff like that. Oh, my nose. Oh, man. You've the screws taken out of the front? Uh, I don't, so we will do that right now. Just the bottom one. Just the bottom one, yeah? Yep. I'm gonna put some glue on this. As you can see where Tommy's putting the target seal, he's not going too crazy. He's just putting in the points that are needed. Okay, so that's all the points he's done. As you know, the clips that I put underneath the car, that's what's going into there, so that clips into there, so you know where everything goes. When people give you car parts, everything needs to be used within that box, and guarantee it's there for a reason, use it. And then another little trick Tommy showed me on this is, when pulling this tape off, only pull a little bit, and then put it on, and then leave a little bit sticking out, and then he pulls it all off at the end. He doesn't just pull it all off now, which me, stupidly, I would've, I've just pulled it all off. That's it, look at that guys, look how that clips in. That's not a problem, it hasn't been a mission, it's been pretty fairly straightforward. Tommy's just clipping all the clips in. That's it. Now it's just to put the side panel on. Four screws in the bottom. Which is these. Is this one clipped in? Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Oh, you're doing that now. Drew, behind you. <coughs> yeah. So Tommy's going underneath to do the, the screws because yeah, there is four screws to be put in. So he's going to do that now, and then that should hold the panel in very nicely. We'll put the front screw back on. Let's 
see that screw holes. Ready for this? Yeah, so basically now we need to eat is Do I need to put any more of that stuff on there, no? Uh, yeah, a little bit on two bits of it. Did you put okay, that so, yeah. yeah, so Tommy's gonna put some more stuff on this, but as you can see guys, we have to put those clip in. This clip doesn't come with it. See what I mean when I told you he's gonna kick that out. I told you it's gonna kick it out. Put a silver screw in there, a screw thing in there for the the bolt. Bolt. Uh the little torques. That's it. And then obviously that gets screwed in there, slid in there, sorry, so that it all fits in. Mm. Uh, let's do the end one okay. first. Let's go. Is door curtain? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> if you have that for a tea, can I just get the camera this side? Oh, no, actually, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, if you hold that. Little screw in there, little screw in there. And that's it. Okay. And that's it guys. That's the old scar, it's done. I, Tommy's just done it. So big shout out to TP Smart Repairs again and Tommy obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. Who you guys are getting quite <laughs> First time, you guys are getting quite familiar with Tommy. Uh, so you guys get to know him. But yeah, that's it guys. So it's all on. Now I'll show you guys what it looks like. That it's done, it's finished. It looks sick and I recommend it. Links in the description. Guys, again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment, just tell me what you think. If you want more different ca camera angles, please let me know, because guys, I'm still a novice. I, I, you know, I don't do this full time. This is just a sideline hobby, and I just like to film this kind of stuff. So hopefully it helps you guys out when you're doing your Sirocco's. Um, hopefully I can get another car for the channel, who knows? You know, the Sirocco, don't know, it's not gonna live here forever, so it might get something else. Um, but yeah, for now, let me finish, put those two final screws on. One in the back, if you guys have forgotten. So this is where the screws are going. So in the door, there's a screw in there, guys. Don't forget that screw. There's one in there. And there's gonna be another screw on this side here at the front of the door at the bottom. So you need to put another screw in there. Don't forget, there's a screw that needs to go in there. But yeah, they look sick. Absolutely sick. I'm happy with that. Really buzzing. It looks good. Looks amazing. But yeah, let me finish that up, take the car out, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like.
that's it guys that's a wrap so tommy's done all the job on this it looks absolutely insane it looks really good you can see him he's he's over there putting his race box away he's just bought a new boy new toy he has but anyway naughty naughty kid uh anyway so really happy with this it wasn't so hard to fit it was actually quite good but it, yeah i would recommend having some instructions from someone who knows what they're doing really uh hopefully this video can help you and guide you a little bit but i think that looks so much better guys and it fits nicely look at that you can't say it doesn't fit well yeah really pleased with that guys like honestly it just it's completed the car that's why the Sirocco R's just look so good so now I've gone to Maxim Design I've ordered the side the side panel for that but now that i've got the r size good so then this will continue all the way through and look absolutely mint so if you guys want to see that in the video subscribe follow me and uh i'll show you guys what that looks like installing that which will be a quicker job than this but i'm really happy and chuffed guys and then i've ordered a plastic cover to go over this just so the rear diffuser looks a little bit better something to complete a little bit um yes yeah, so if you guys want to see that make sure you subscribe follow the channel plenty of more stuff to come um yeah i'm so so happy with it let me know what you think and it wasn't so bad to install and that's it guys that's the car done i'm so happy with it i'm like honestly i just can't wait to finish it with the the maxton design side skirts with a little orange pinstripe around it just to complete the card. Look absolutely mental. If you guys want to see me install that, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And it feels so good to make another video again. I know it's been months since I made this one, but it feels so nice to make another one. Um, but yeah, guys, I really appreciate your support. I see I've got a whole bunch of new subscribers come through and I really just want to say thank you to all of you who do subscribe and follow and do leave a like. Um, I'm really happy, thank you for that. And guys, I'll catch you in the next one, peace.